Okay, good day everyone. Today, I have decided to record a podcast for our discussion in campus journalism. So, when you say, when you say podcast, it is more on the portable, audio recordable means of digital publishing. So, podcast, bakit podcast ang pinili ko? Para hindi na tayo mahirapan sa pag-review ng ating mga topic and discussions. So, let's proceed to our discussion na sa campus journalism. So when you see, so before we have discussed what are the differences between literature and journalism. Okay? So to condense everything, literature is more on creative means of writing and journalism it is more on technical way of writing. Okay? So sa literature, may play of words siya. You can use figurative languages, okay? It is more on to entertain our readers, okay? So, sa, litri- sa journalism naman, it is more on technical terms, okay? So, may mga standards to follow because it is more on to inform, okay? So, this time, let's discuss the campus paper and the publication staff. So, before we start... Let us per- first identify the learning outcomes sa atuang discussion. So with this discussion, it is to trace the historical background of campus journalism, identify the duties of members of the editorial board, and to dis- distinguish the functions of campus paper and critique the characteristics of magazines and newspaper. Okay, so let's proceed to our discussion proper so first please take note the national newspaper so before delving into campus paper it is wise to start the discussion on a supra level so this is for you to understand primarily the concept of system that campus paper has thus a newspaper is a publication sold and distributed regularly and fixed interval it may be monthly bi-monthly weekly daily and this is because newspapers fall under the category of periodicals okay so you have to take note the term periodicals because newspaper is to be published okay daily monthly and bi-monthly okay that's why ang ang newspaper na siya term it is specialized in the term periodicals okay so another, let's proceed to the campus paper. So the campus paper is the version of the national newspaper within an academic institution. In other words, it is a pioneer in the publishing industry as a free newspaper of the students, by the students, and for the students to circulate within the academic community. So ang campus paper naman, it is more on the student works. Okay, it is for the students to read and it is for the students to ad- identify what are the char- characteristics of it. Okay, so ginawa siya para sa mga sujante and to practice the, the creative, uh, to practice the writing skills of the students in more in technical way. Okay, so next, what should go into the campus paper? What should go into the campus paper? So, campus journalism serves as a means to strengthen the ethical values and to encourage the creative and critical thinking of the Filipino youth. It also helps in developing the personal discipline and moral character of the young. So, when you say what should go into the campus paper or uh, campus paper, it is more on the students what? ethical values it is to promote ethical values and more on of more on to the advocacy means of so para siyang inspirational and also and also educational because na ay mga parts sa campus paper to promote what is for example to promote what is the good study habits to promote what is the what should be a Filipino teenager teenager okay so next, the brief history of campus journalism. Let's discuss the history of the campus journalism. So this history of campus journalism is penned by Alexander Haban Escote on August 28, 2008. So according to Valenzuela, to Jesus Valenzuela rather, 
in the history of journalism in the Philippine Islands and John Lent in the Philippine Mass Communication, the history of campus journalism in the Philippines started when the University of Tan Santo Tomas published El Lilipultiense. Again, the published the El Lilipultiense in 1980. So, however, Oscar Manalo, Narciso Matienzo, and Virgilio Montelo Monteloyola in Ang Pamahayagan argued that the history of campus journalism in the country started when, when the University of the Philippines published the College Folio, now the Philippine Collegian in 1910. They also added the Torch of the Philippine Normal University, the Guidon of the Ateneo de Manila University, and the Varsitarian of the University of Santo Tomas were also published two years later so there are some sort of there are some sort of histories to where campus journalism has been started or had had started okay so please take note of those following names and school who had known to be the history or who had known to be the origin of the campus journalism so ayan so if you have if you have some questions you can have a comment or you can comment down your question so that we could discuss it next next time so disclaimer lang guys i i i have a reference there is ako ang libro or i am using a reference in some sort of a book so that we could clarify things sa ato ang discussion so next let's proceed to the functions of campus paper so a campus paper may be mimeograph or printed published or re released by an organization or school whose name or logo appears in the masthead or in the editorial box the campus paper like any other has like any other media has also a function so these are the functions so please take note guys these are the functions number one we have the aid to the students okay we have the aid to the students so these are the sub topic of the aid to the students letter a to provide opportunity for interesting writing to provides or it provides opportunity for interesting writing so when she provides opportunity for interesting writing so in campus paper there ha th we have or they have some editorial boards so before you come in into the editorial boards you have to audition first or to screen you first okay so na ay mga what you call it activities and uh, work activities and work works para makasulod ta sa editorial board so na ay mga writing ano writing examinations og mga oh mga ingana okay so letter b it gives the students the opportunity to learn how to read the newspapers okay it gives students the opportunity to learn how to read or to read the newspaper so sa ato ang times sa ato ang millennial sa at, sa ato ang millennial times diba dili na takabalo or at some at some point we don't we don't know how to read properly a newspaper Okay, it's more on sa mga koan naman ta, sa mga news sa, uh, informal news sa Facebook. But this time, the uh, campus, campus paper has this opportunity for us to learn how to read the newspapers properly. Okay, so let's proceed to letter C. It acts as a stimulus to better work. Acts as a stimulus to better work. So when you say stimulus, it is the main idea on how to work better. Okay. So, unsa ni siyang acts as a stimulus to better work. So, when you say campus paper, it has a, it has some parts dira sa koan, sa paper to promote well-being of the students, okay? So, na siya yung mga ano, ma, na siya yung mga sa ano, na siya yung mga tips on how to study well, okay? So, at some point, it acts as a stimulus to better work. So, letter D, it develops students' power of observation and discrimination concerning relative merits of news articles. 
So when you say develop students' powers of observation and discrimination concerning relative merits of news article, so it it be, it makes us become a watchdog. So when you say watchdog, maging observant ta sa ato ang community or sa campus. So kabalo ta mag-criticize kung tama ba ni or legit ba ni nga news or daily. Okay? So letter E. It serves as outlet and motivation for journalistic writing. So when when you say serves as outlet and motivation for journalistic writing, we can we can be creative in our own ways. Okay, we can have or we can, ano na, we can contribute to a campus paper. Pwede ta maging ano? Pwede ta maging isang contributor. Pwede ta magpasa og work. Okay, for example, pwede ta magpasa og essays, poem, unsa pa na siya nga articles para ma-post dito sa feature page sa campus paper, okay? And then pwede na to pangalan na atong sarili og anonymous and any pen name nga atong gusto, okay? So letter F, we have offers training in organizations, business methods, commercial arts, salesmanship, bookkeeping and business management. So ang campus paper it could also it could also makes us ano, a better worker in business in business or organizations and other any institutions because mura siya ganang kuan. When you, mura siya holistic. When you say holistic, ma ano, ma work out ang ato ang whole being, okay? Sa writing, sa critical thinking, and sa creative writing. Okay? Next is letter G. It develops qualities of cooperation, tact, accuracy, tolerance, responsibility, and leadership. So when you say develops qualities of cooperation, tact, accuracy, tolerance, responsibility, and leadership. So when you say campus paper, when you are part of the editorial board, you have to be responsible of what you are writing and posting. So before we publish it, dapat kabaluta kung reliable ba ni ato ang sources or reliable ba ang news ni atong i-publish. Okay? So that is number one. It is the aid, it is aid to the students or it, it will become an aid to students. Next, number two, we have aid to school and community okay again aid to school and community so letter a we have it informs the community of the work of the school it informs the community of the work of the school so when you say it informs the community of the work of the school so it could be what it could be a means of advertising what is the the school should be or what is the what is all about the school okay so once na ma-publish ang campus paper it could become a koan some sort of magazine nga pwede siya mabasa sa gawas okay or outside the community or outside the school pwede siya maba, maba, mabasahan sa community for example what are the facilities of the school so pwede dito ma-post sa feature page and then mabasahan siya sa ato ang community or sa community and then it becomes some sort of adver advertising or advertisement sa ato ang school next letter B we have publishes school news okay again publishes school news. So, for example, sa atuang school na ay top notcher sa CPA, na atay na, na produce na top notcher sa CPA, and then, pwede na to siya i-post or i-publish sa atuang campus paper. And it will become, what? It will become a main idea or main, or the stimulus of the campus paper. Pwede siya mabasa sa community. And then, na sila idea, ah, ingan ni ang school. So, na siya yung mga, kuan, na siya quality to produce a certified public accountant. So, at that sort of idea, na siya yung kuan, pwede siya ma-advertise ang school. Okay, next we have, it creates and expresses school opinions. It creates and expresses school opinions. So, for example, na ay headline ng school nga all about online learning. So, pwede na to siya ma-publish and then it creates a idea or it creates a notion about what is an online learning. Okay? And then, mabasa na po siya sa community and then, na idea ang community. Ah, ingani ang online learning. 
Okay, so it also gives information about what is the school or what are the operations of the school. So next we have letter D, makes known the achievements of the school. Makes known the achievements of the school. So katong akong na discuss before, pwede siya, pwede na to siya ibutang dito sa feature page ang ato ang mga achievements sa school. So for example, the top school of Polomolok. Okay? So, pwede na to siya ibutang dito nga article and then mabasahan siya sa community and it could be some sort of advertising na din. Okay, letter E, we have, it helps unify the school. It helps unify the school. So, when you say it helps unify the school, we could be, we could have an article about inspirational messages of our president and then ma-record siya dito or ma- ma journalize siya dito and then it could be it would it could become an article to what is what the school or what is something about the school inspirationally so paano naging inga na ang atong president sa iyang life and then maka, at some point nga ato ang makuan maka unify po siya because of the inspirations okay na sa uptime so, letter F, we have, it encourages and stimulates worthwhile activities. It encourages and stimulates worthwhile activities. So, sa campus paper na atay ginaingon nga sports page. So, dito ma-post or dito ma-publish ang mga activities or sports activities about the school. So, for example, the Tamaraw beats the the, ano, the wolves in basketball. So, at some point, makakreate po siya ang advertise, uh, advertisement because ay, nga nila ang mga sports activities sa school. So, quality niya ang sports activities because nagakwa sila ang mga referees, referees outside. And then, ang mga rules and regulations is more on to the well-being of the students. So, nga na siya. Okay? So, next, we have letter H. We have letter H. Provides an outlet for students' suggestions for the betterment of the school. Again, we have to prov it, it has a or it can provide an outlet for the students' suggestions for the betterment of the school. So at some point of the campus paper, na a page dito nga to, for example, the student spotlight. Okay, it could be an example of a feature page sa atong campus paper wherein we could post something about the school. Okay. We could post suggestions, mga reklamo, or anything, or freedom about the students to post something about the school. Okay? So next, we have letter I. Develops better inter-school relationship. It develops better inter-school relationship. When say inter-school, so pwede siya makahatag og ideas about the school. Okay? So pwede siya makahatag og ideas from GSA and to give idea to ideas to Poblacion Polomolok National High School okay so pwede siya makakuan mo ganin natay ginatawag nga have you joined the ano the SPC when you say the SPC it is Division Schools Press Conference okay so it's more on newspaper activities or campus paper activities wherein to provide the well-being of the students or to provide ano holistic what's up? holistic approach sa writing or technical writing sa mga students in terms of campus paper campus paper writing okay so maka develop po chag inter school relationship next letter j develops school spirit when you say develops school spirit it is more on inspirational so maka provide chag inspirational messages maka provide chag inspirational talks or inspirational speeches to read by the students and then it could motivate them at some point so lastly we have letter k develops cooperation between the parents and the school develops cooperation between the parents and the school so what is that okay so for example ang campus paper dili lang na siya basically or dili na siya isolated sa mga students nga basahon okay we could they could bring them sa ilahang mga balay and then 
the parents could also read what is the contents of the campus paper and with that they could be also informed to what are the of the operations of the school okay so that those are the functions of the campus paper so if you have some questions again you can ask me or ask me by through comment the commenting on the comment section okay so so this is my first time to rec to record a podcast so napatay mga buffering moments okay so if you have some clarifications you can comment down and also if you have some questions okay so thank you for listening and let's